Hey developers, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be checking out some advanced effects with CSS background blend modes. CSS blend modes are so exciting. They are taking the power of Photoshop and putting it into CSS. So many benefits to this. They look awesome and I cannot wait to show you some of these demos today. Now before we get into it, let's talk about blend modes really quickly. When you hear the term CSS blend modes, usually people are getting excited about three CSS properties in particular. The first one is background blend mode. That's the one we're checking out today. And this is when you want to blend an element's background images, gradients, and background colors. The next one is called mix blend mode. That's when you want to blend elements over other elements. We're going to see some demos of this with the projects today, not the focus, but I do incorporate a mixed blend mode or two in one of these demos. And finally, isolation. Now this one isn't used quite as often as mixed blend mode or background blend mode. And you would use isolation with mixed blend mode for keeping elements from mixing together. When you don't want them mixing, you would pop in that isolation. So here we are here on the Mozilla docs. I'll go to the demos in just a second here, but I want to show you just a basic example. Now with the background blend mode, you have four options. You can go normal. This is what this looks like. Multiply, hard light, and difference. Now as you can see, just going through this simple picture of this hot air balloon, already looking like some Instagram effects right here, some psychedelic stuff, some very simple syntax here, but very powerful. Let's pop into CodePen here and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this. Now, the first two examples I have for you are based on gradients. And then the last three here we'll discuss are based on photos. So a little mix, let's get right into it. The first one I have to show you is a 3D plaid background. I have commented out the background blend mode on these projects just to show you the transformation. Just 26 lines of CSS, and as you can see, we have one class plaid background thrown right in the body here. And for our background, we have defined a repeating linear gradient with cyan. We have another one with tomato, and then we have a third one with tomato. And finally, we defined a color down here to just make things interesting. And as you can see, this is already looking kind of interesting. This could be a great background for projects, getting artistic or just having some fun. Imagine the size of this CSS file compared to an actual photo and right away the benefits become very apparent. But let's go ahead down here and open up this background blend mode and you can see the immediate transformation. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Again, for backgrounds, for components, this just has so many use cases and you can spruce it up just by changing a few things. Now, if we went to, let's try hard light and see if that makes a difference. Immediate transformation, and that is just such a simple change right there. Some of these colors are a little strong here, but you can experiment and go with some lighter colors to have a more delicate effect, or maybe you like it a little more bold, a little more abrasive. I do wanna emphasize the simplicity of this CSS, just three gradients and the background blend mode just totally making this thing pop. Let's check out another gradient here. This is a circle pattern, 80s themed web apps, even a background for a game. If you're developing um, JavaScript games on Canvas or something, we have a simple, what, 21 line CSS sheet here, starting off with just one class, circles background, and kind of the same pattern as the last example. Uh, we have three radial gradients, and then with the background blend mode, we're going hard light. Also the background position really makes a difference here, making these circles pop out. But let's go ahead and uncomment this. And you can see again, just how quickly things change. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And you can see the transparency here. This is another example of a bold color scheme, but I mean, really you could just transform this so quickly and make it more and more subtle. Look at that, kind of like a popcorn texture effect here. It's really easy to get lost in this stuff. So I will warn you, if you start experimenting with this, put aside an hour or two or more. The radial gradient combined with the background blend mode is really what is making this happen here, along with the background position to give it some texture. Uh, but look at that one line. And if we just go to multiply, you can see how quickly that changed. Not only did the colors change, but the mood changed. And that was just with this one line 
using the background blend mode property. Now let's check out some photo effects. I have some cartoons here. I have some text on photo. Let's check out the SpongeBob night vision. This is a really neat effect. 15 lines of CSS is all you need to make the magic happen. We're going with another radial gradient, just like our last examples, but we also have a repeating linear gradient here. And then our background blend mode is gonna be overlay. So let's go ahead. This is actually where things are going to start to transform. The radial gradient is what is going to transform this into night vision, that, that really neat night vision effect that you see in games and some videos quite often. Um, but wow, really setting the mood here with SpongeBob. Let's check out the full screen. You can really get creative with this effect. Maybe you're blogging about security or gaming or something that somehow mentions the night. The background blend mode is so great with creating a mood, especially when you combine it with these gradients. This next one I call the 60s blacklight freakout. And I do warn you, it is pretty extreme, but I will call your attention to mix blend mode. This is one that I decided to throw in just to show you what it looks like. I'll uncomment it here and you can see where we might be going with this. Ooh, kind of like an inverted chalkboard glowing neon insert adjective here. Already looking pretty neat. But then we go down here to the pseudo element after we're using a background blend mode difference. And look at that. I can see this on a 1960s psychedelic album cover. Notice we're using one class only again, but numerous pseudo elements. We have the before and after here with this block and then the background blend modes before and after. We also have two transform origins here. If we go top right, you can kind of see how these work. Just adding some not so subtle effects, but you can get subtle with it. If we put multiply here, let's see what happens. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of a neat Instagram type photo. You can play around with this transform property too, and this will give you some neat effects. Playing around with these CSS effects makes you feel like you're in a photo dark room. Let's change this blue to green, and you're gonna see something just instantaneously change, almost like an Instagram, a proto Instagram filter with some of these properties here. A few short years ago, you would have to go to Photoshop and tweak this or some other photo editing program, but now it's right in CSS, and that's just so exciting. Let's take a look at the final pen here. I called this one Ride the Wave. Kind of a neat effect here, right? It's already looking pretty decent. But then if we go down here, the mix blend mode is on overlay. As I uncomment this, you're going to see these letters kind of pop through and you'll be able to see the water through the text. It's such a neat effect. Let's go ahead and take this out and look at that. We could probably do some work down here and make this a little less jarring. It is kind of bright right here and then it goes darker. One of the cool things about this too, from an SEO standpoint, is that because you're not making an actual photo and you're using CSS, your text can be picked up for SEO purposes. But I just love this effect right here. It's so powerful and there are a lot of things you can do with it and getting a little bit of an SEO boost there too. And there you have it, advanced effects with CSS background blend modes. We threw in a few extra goodies here for you today. Hopefully you got some inspiration and got to see some cool new things you can do with this property. This is just scratching the surface. Once you start playing with background blend modes, you're gonna be in for a treat. Don't be surprised if you spend four or five hours on CodePen playing with this stuff and making it look absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.